Good morning, everyone. Or oh, actually, good afternoon by the time you do your PE lesson. Hope everyone's fitting well. Uh, well done last week. I spoke my pet monkey. He said you all worked very hard and you did some excellent work. So well done, everybody. Last PE lesson before half term. So this is going to be our most challenging one yet. Okay, so to start off with, I know you guys have been loving doing those PE Bowman level up games. So you have to do all three games, complete all the levels. So you do the first one first. Once you complete the boss, you can have a one minute rest, get some something to drink, have a little bit of a rest, get your breath back, then take on the next challenge, take on the next boss. Once you've beaten him, you're gonna go on to the third boss, okay? And I want you to send in how many lives you lose com completing all three games, okay? So hopefully you're a bit better than me. I'm still very slow getting up. I need to work on my uh, agility, being able to get off the floor a bit faster because as soon as I get on the floor, the next thing comes and gets me, so I lose lots of lives. So good luck with that. That's the first thing you're gonna do. Next, because it's nice and snowy outside, hopefully everybody's got some snow. I know there's lots of snow around the area, so everybody should have some snow. I want you to go outside and build some sort of sporting object, or you could even, you can make it as creative as you want to. You can build a whole 11 side football team if you want to, snowmen, or you could build one snowman with a hockey stick or a cricket bat. Or you could even just make a small snowball and say, Mr. Mutchell, there's a ping pong ball. So you can be as creative as you want to be, but I want you to attach your photograph with your sport and creation in the snow. And that's good. So that's two pretty tough challenges. Now, also, I know some of you have been added to the house teams. OK, so everybody um, should be in a house. And Mr. Campbell's kindly put those teams up. And you've noticed that the year three to six children have been doing some sport and challenges. And a few of you guys have asked to get involved. So that's brilliant. There's no reason why you can't be involved. Um, so you've got a chance to make, so to win some lords for your house. Okay, so our third part of our P lesson, you don't have to necessarily do these all today. You've got until Friday really to hand in the house challenge, but Obviously, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an extension. You can do it over half term as well. OK, so if you do want to be involved in the house challenge, there is six exercises you've got to do um, on the years three to six challenge. They've got to do 50 reps of each exercise. Now, obviously, you guys are a little bit younger, so I'm going to modify it slightly. And you guys are only going to have to do 25 reps. OK, so you start your watch at the start of the exercises and then obviously stop it when you've completed all of those exercises. OK, so there's two options. You can go through once if you want, and then that would get one more for your house. If you get to the end of doing um, one round of all the exercises and you think you've still got enough energy left, you can then do it again and you can earn two lords for your house. OK, so I would like you to obviously reply with uh, one round, Mr. Mutchall, and a time or two rounds, Mr. Mutchall, and then your, your overall time. OK, so keep the clock running if you're going to do two rounds as well. Don't stop it and start it again. OK, so the exercises are, first of all, we've got our rocket jumps. OK, so a rocket jump, you're going to have to grab your balloon and you're going to touch the floor with the balloon and you're going to get the balloon above your head and jump up. Obviously, my roof's quite small, so I can't jump. You've got to make sure you get two feet off the floor, balloon fully above your head. Touch the floor, jump up. OK, you've got to do 25 of those. Okay, you should feel a nice little burn in your legs, and your quads and your calves. So lots of hard work there. When you've done 25 of those, we then have to do 25 wall taps. Okay, so this is where we're going to take one big step away from the wall, set our feet. And we're going to hit the wall 25 times with the balloon. Okay, if the balloon drops on the floor, don't worry. You pick it up and you continue where you're at. So if I was on six, my next hit would be seven, eight, nine, 10, so on, all the way to 25. Brilliant stuff. After you've done 25 of those, you then have to do your lunge. So big lunge, pass the balloon through your leg. Obviously the balloons are quite big. So if you guys get a pair of socks, you can use a pair of socks instead. So it's obviously not as big an object to put through. So you have to make sure it's a big stride, Pass through your legs, two, three, four, and so on. The only rule with that is you have to have two feet on the floor when you pass the socks or the balloon underneath your leg. You can't just lift your leg up and do it like that, okay? 
So that's your next chance. Once you've done 25 of those, we've got 25 of our shoulder taps. You have to get in a press up position and you've got to lift your hand, touch your shoulder. Obviously, you can do that as quick as you can. If you get tired and you have to drop your knees, just have a rest. Like with the balloon, you then start where you finish from. So it'll be eight, nine, ten, drop down, eleven, and so on, all the way up to twenty-five. Good stuff. After you've done that, you can either use the balloon or the socks. You're gonna do twenty-five, wrapping the balloon or the socks around your body, and then to finish with last exercises are wall taps again. So set your feet, and you're gonna do twenty-five wall taps as fast as you can. Stop the clock. If, you, if you're tired there, stop the clock, send in your score, that'd be brilliant. If you've still got some energy left, go around again and see if you can complete those exercises for a second time. Okay, but well done everybody this half term. Obviously it's not ideal being away, the weather's not been great, so we haven't been able to get outside. Uh, but I've been really impressed with the effort that people have been putting in and it's made my week actually seeing you guys, some of the pictures of you enjoying doing some of the, some of the PE lessons. So well done. If you can do some exercise over half term, that's brilliant. Do these challenges over half term. Practice your catching, whatever it is. Um, it's all brilliant practice. And then when we, I look forward to when we get back to school and we get back in the Adamson Hall or hopefully on that cricket pitch and have some fun properly. But well done, everybody. Look forward to seeing you soon. See you later.